This past weekend, I went to a local tournament in Somerville, New Jersey. Somersville? Hmm, don't remember, never been. Um, but uh, it was incredible. It was an official Pokemon tournament. There were people there, uh, like Joe Brown, who was a, who was a commentator, uh, Rosemary, who's a commentator, um, Paul Chua was there, who's a previous champion, uh, who I've seen on stream. I've seen a couple other people I've seen on stream at official Pokemon competitions too. Uh, and uh, it was 60 people in total. The top eight were, were top cut. Um, and uh, I placed 12th with this team that you see right above me. I don't know which side. Uh, and uh, I'm thrilled by that outcome. I genuinely uh, was going to win one set. I was hoping I'd win two sets, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and then once I realized I was like hanging in there and, pe and, and even like winning some of these games pretty handily, uh, I was like, I'm gonna try and go, you know, uh, I'm gonna try and break even, you know, go three and three. And then I was, I was three and two going into my last match. I knew I was probably not gonna top cut at that point. Um, but I was like, you know what? Let's just see, let's just go for it. And we pulled it out in the last game. I went four and two. Uh, four and two was the record of a couple of people who made top cut. They just won by more and lost by less than I did, uh, which is good for them. Um, but it makes me feel good that I was able to get the record that was needed to get into top cut uh, at all. And also, like, Paul placed lower than me, Paul Chua, uh, which is also, like, means nothing besides the fact that, like, he goes to these tournaments all the time um, and was might have been running, like, a goofball team for all I know. Uh, I didn't actually play against him. Also, by the way, nicest guy ever. D uh, we were, like, joking around. I, I did not introduce myself, um, <laughs> so I do not know him. <laughs> not that anybody watching necessarily knows him. Um, but it was just very cool. It was really, really cool. Uh, to be there, and if you ever have the chance to go to an event, you absolutely should. Okay, that rant's over. Let's break down the team. If you haven't jumped ahead yet, dear God, what are you doing? Um, okay, we have Dragapult, Clefairy, Colossal, Rotom, Gastrodon, and Incineroar. Uh, the idea here is that there's no Trick Room on this team. However, you have both options. So you look at your opponent's team, and you can decide from there... Uh, which way you think they're gonna go, and then you bring the appropriate Pokemon. So, Dragapult almost always leads with either Colossal or Gastrodon. Gastrodon, obviously, if you see what you think is gonna be a Trick Room team. Colossal, if you see what you think is gonna be a speedy team, or a team that's not gonna run Trick Room. Um, and then basically, Dragapult turn one, always either ally switches or surf, depending on the situation. You'll see in a little bit when we play some of these games, it'll be situational. Uh, but most of the time they surf, and you pretty much Dynamax, Colossal, or Gastrodon turn one. Um, obviously, Surf uh, boosts Gastrodon's special attack by one. Um, and you can even go for a Max Ooze and then boost your special attack by, you know, by two on the same turn. Or go for a Max Quake and boost your special defense one and your special attack one on the first turn. Uh, while they hopefully go for a Trick Room, which would make you in an even better situation. Um, but Colossal is holding the weakness policy, it's got Steam Engine, so it shouldn't be a surprise that when Surf hits Colossal, uh, it doesn't do very much because it's a physical Dragapult with, I think, like a decent special attack IV. It's not perfectly no good, uh, but I didn't run into any issues with that. Um, it throws Colossals when it gets hit by Surf, it, um, pops the weakness policy, raising his attack and special attack by two. Uh, and then it shoots his speed max, so it, it he goes plus six in speed. Uh, additionally, uh, this is a physical Colossal. To be honest, when I was building this team, I didn't know that Special Colossal was the preferred mode, or at least the more common mode, um, but it makes it so that people oftentimes try to lower your special attack, not realizing that you're using physical moves. That's the nice thing about Dynamax. <laughs> this is the only nice thing about Dynamax. No, one of the nice things about Dynamax is that you're just using max Rockfall. You're using max Flare. That could be a physical move or a special move, and they have to kind of guess. Uh, it's kind of weird that, or it's kind of overpowered that you can't know if you're on the receiving end of it. And then everybody else is just support and coverage. Clefairy is awesome for if Dragapult goes down, Clefairy comes in and just supports the heck out of Colossal and Gastrodon by redirecting, using Helping Hand, healing, it's its such an incredible, and also just Friend Guard makes it so that 
uh, Colossal and Gastrodon are only receiving a percentage of the um, damage they would be. Uh, Incineroar, obviously, to intimidate things and fake things out. Great support. Um, and then Rotom is purely coverage. I mean, I was just looking at the team and I was like, what else does this team need? It needed a Grass type and it needed an Electric type and Rotom Mo was the perfect uh, Pokemon to use there. So there's the team code. I'm going to keep it up for a while because I am proud of this team. So go ahead and use it. There's going to be a Poke Paste in the description below if you made it this far. And uh, yeah, let's hop into our first battle. What do you say? <laughs> okay, this is our first battle. We're up against a Corviknight, Sableye, Venusaur, um, Mudsdale, Milotic, and Incineroar team. Um, I am anticipating this being non-Trick Room, thanks to the, um, well, I guess Sableye, does Sableye get Trick Room? I think it does. I think it does. So maybe it's both. Maybe it's both. But I'm more expecting a, uh, sunny day chlorophyll situation from the, uh, from the Sableye. Uh, let's see. We're gonna lead Dragapult. And uh, Colossal, it's kind of all we can do against Venusaur. Venusaur steamrolls straight through um, Gastrodon, so we couldn't even really make that an option if we wanted to. But we're going to bring Gastrodon in the bat. Well, I guess Rotom could do a good job against the... Well, Rotom is probably going to have to come, let's be honest. We gotta... We're looking at a... Yeah, we're looking at a uh, Corviknight, a Mudsdale, and a Milotic. So Rotom's coming. That's why Rotom's so nice for coverage alone. And then honestly, I kind of do want to bring the Gastrodon. Although Clefairy is just always a nice option. We're going to bring Gastrodon, though. Uh, just in case they want to bring the Milotic, because they see Colossal and Incineroar. They're thinking, I might want to bring a Water-type. That's why Gastrodon's so nice on this team, too. Uh, it's because not only do you have it for the Trick Room option as a lead and an offensive threat, but you also have it to collect any water moves that necessarily want to come Colossal's way. Capiche? Let's hop in. I think I'm wearing my pink kerchief t-shirt still. Yeah, that's okay. Pink kerchief's a cool guy. Uh, all right, this is what I thought it was gonna be. Um, what's gonna happen here is it's gonna go sunny day and it's gonna go uh, earth power, max quake into colossal. This is a situation where you actually don't wanna use surf turn one. You wanna use ally switch because ally switch is not typically run on Dragapult. So you can surprise him, take the Max Quake from uh, the Venusaur with Dragapult instead, uh, and because this isn't a uh, three-game situation, you can surprise them with the Max Flare straight into the Venusaur and go for Surf on the next turn. Um, yeah, that's the play. That's the strat. Because um, even in Sun, if this is a timid Venusaur in Sun with Chlorophyll, it will be faster than a plus six Colossal. So we predicted correctly the Venusaur is going to get big. Um, it's almost surely uh, uh, Chlorophyll. We are going to get big right next to it. They are going to go for the Sunny Day with um, with Sableye, unless they do something with Quash. Uh, what's so nice about Dragapult is they cannot fake us out. Dragapult is always going to get to move, and that's why Dragapult is the desired partner for this Pokemon. Um, I tried using Aqua Jet users and I was just getting faked out. That's all it, that's all it was. Uh, so we get the ally switch off. Ooh, they did not go for a... They would have gone first there. He went for Quash, but it failed because he went for the wrong Pokemon. Max Quake's gonna almost assuredly go into Dragapult. Yep. They're gonna get a special defense boost, but that's not gonna help them because we are a physical Colossal. Um... Yeah, here we go. Max Flare, baby. Now, this is going to set the sun for them. Uh, and we are not at plus two attack yet, which is concerning, surely. Uh, ooh, they also were holding the weakness policy. So we are still not in a great situation, to be honest. Um, uh, yeah, and we actually just get blown back. Uh, with the rest of the Pokemon we decided to bring. Uh, so we have to make this... This play has to be correct. Now we know they're going to go for Quash. It's just who they're going to go for Quash on. 
They have to either predict the switch or not the switch. Do we think it's really just a coin flip? If we ally switch and they guess wrong, then we uh, kill the Venusaur and uh, vice versa. Hmm. I'm gonna ally switch again, I think. Yeah, let's try it. Ooh. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Ooh, I don't know if I got that in a time. Let's see. Ooh, max guard, interesting. We're gonna go for the ally switch. Now going for it twice makes me think that maybe, just maybe, ooh, he knocked off Dragapult. Oh, that's really bad news. That's really bad news, gang. Uh, this means that we can no longer, oh, that's not true, because guess what? Rotom has ally switch too. We're gonna take some time here, make them think that we are really in a bad spot but now they are definitely not going to expect us to go for ally switch with Rotom. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to get the Surf boost in this match, but I feel okay about it. I feel okay. We're going to go for Rotom now. Hopefully that pause was enough time to make them double guess themselves. We go for the ally switch. Ally switch is such a sneaky, sneaky, dirty move, but uh, it's kind of our only option here. And then we go for the... Max Flare. I bet they quash the wrong Pokemon again, and they go for Max Quake, and it uh, ends up hitting Rotom, which it won't hit Rotom, because Rotom has Levitate, obviously. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Gosh, I just love the design of GMAX Colossal. It's so cool. As if the coal pile could get any taller. Let's see, was this the right move? Was this the right play? Max Overgrowth, interesting. Wow, not enough to KO, but that did a lot of damage. It was a crit, there you go. What did the, what did the Sableye go for? Did it go for like foul play? Knock off into Colossal, not gonna be enough, but it's gonna knock off our weakness policy. That's okay, we weren't gonna use it anymore anyway. And we do get to take out the Venusaur. Okay, so we're still in this game. We're still in this game. Uh, what do we want to do to the Sableye though? I feel like Gastrodon can match up pretty well against the Sableye. And so does Rotom. And we're gonna get a little bit of health back too while we're at it. Why not? Why not? I'll tell you something. I was really scared about playing best two out of three games at the tournament um, at the local. I was like, I don't think I'm well adapted to this. I've only really played one on ones online. I think I'm way better at two on like like the two v three situation. There were two different games where I came back from losing game one because I just saw a better way to deal with it, deal with the opponent. Okay. So we have to um, we have to Will O Wisp that Mudsdale, uh, and we can try and Flare Blitz the Sableye just to get a free switch into Gastrodon on this next turn. We should move first here, unless they quash our Rotom, which they do. Interesting. Uh, probably Rock Slide, yeah. So that's gonna take out Colossal. So interesting that, that the Mudsdale is faster than Colossal though. Colossal's adamant. Don't flinch us, please. Thank you. Uh, Colossal's adamant with max HP and max attack, uh, but it does have full speed IVs. Well, it didn't get the boost, so so what am I talking about? That could, you know, could be anything. Could be anything, really. Uh, and it's nice that we have Clear Smog, because Clear Smog is always going to get rid of whatever Mudsdale's um, boosts look like. Which means that we don't have to go for Leaf Storm yet. Since we can't switch out, we don't want to go for Leaf Storm for as long as we can. Uh, which means that we can go for Earth Power and Thunderbolt right into the Sableye. I'm not concerned about the Mudsdale at all right now. Uh, they're going to go for the knockoff into Gastrodon, which is going to get rid of our uh, Rindo Berry. There's the Rock Slide, so Mudsdale is faster than uh, Gastrodon. 
But Gastrodon still gets the Earth Power off. How much is this going to do? That boy Gastrodon. Well done, kid. And it gets a special defense drop, which might help us a lot in this next turn when we go for the um, Thunderbolt. Although I still don't think it's going to be enough, to be honest. Uh, we're probably going to get our Berry knocked off on this next turn on our Rotom, our Citrus Berry. Uh, if I had to guess. However, this makes me want to go for Recover here, honestly. Because if we go for Recover, I'm just... Whatever wants to come in the back here... Um, I'm really hoping it's my low tick. I can't imagine they wouldn't bring my low tick to this matchup. There's Thunderbolt. It's not going to be enough to kill. Uh, we are going to get the Citrus Berry knocked off, as predicted. So that's unfortunately going to be how much Rotom has for the rest of this game. Uh, but if it's my Lotic, then we can go for a Leaf Storm on this next turn. Again, I am not worried about what that Mudsdale is doing to us right now. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And what's going to happen on this turn is we can Thunderbolt into the Sableye and go for a Muddy Water, which could do a lot of damage to Mudsdale. Mudsdale is just hurting since it doesn't have uh, uh, any boosting assistance. Uh, the Thunderbolt is going to go right into Sableye. No questions there. Quash into the Rotom. Okay, so Muddy Water is going to come out first. There's always a chance of the double flinch. Nope. Oh, Muddy Water is going to miss Sableye, so... Oh! Double miss! You guys have no idea. I had a game, my first game at the tournament, I had that same exact thing happen where I double missed Muddy Water. And I was staring down the barrel of a Mimikyu that used Swords Dance on the same turn. And I, you know, I was faster than it. Not with Gastrodon, I was faster with, uh, uh, I think it was Dragapult that I had out. And I, it just, it just screwed me over. Now, I lost another game to that person, so, you know, all in all, the set was not lost because of that. But it, the game was lost for that reason. I couldn't get behind the disguise after that. Let's see. It's a shame that uh, we ran out of um, the gassy, uh, gassy, the grassy terrain there. They're gonna go for rock slides. Still trying to go for the flinches, but that's okay. It's just not doing enough to us. Gastrodon's gonna flinch this time. Double flinch. All right. So that's how this game is going. <laughs> um, I'm not worried. Whatever's in the back, they do not want to bring it in. They're just going to try and get as much damage off. I really hope it's the Milotic. And I do think it is. Come on, team. Come on, team. There's the Muddy Water. It's still going to miss the Mudsdale, but it is going to hit the Sableye. And um, Thunderbolt is going to do so much damage to this Mudsdale. Just take a look. Just watch how much this does. Uh, oh, we're going to flinch. That's a shame, because we probably would have knocked out the Mudsdale with that Thunderbolt, if I had to guess. If I had to guess. Um, let's see, let's see. Hey, we got five people watching. Go ahead and jump in the chat if you're, uh... Oh, it's the Incineroar instead. That's interesting. Well, Incineroar still doesn't want to deal with Gastrodon. Gastrodon still has a really great matchup here. Uh, however, I do think that we are in fake-out range um, with Rotom. So I think what we have to do here is we have to go for the Muddy Water... And we actually have to go for a Leaf Storm into... Mm, should we Leaf Storm Mudsdale while Rotom is still around? Because it's definitely going down next turn. If, if we don't die to Fake Out right here. Let's try it. I'm a little nervous. It's a quiet... It's a quiet... Uh, gastro oh, he's going to Fake Out Gastrodon. Okay. So Leaf Storm has a shot here. That did a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, Muddy Water is going to take that thing out on this next turn. Rock Slide might not be enough to kill Rotom here, no. So Rotom's still alive. Rotom's still living. Uh, Rotom now can just try and get some chip damage off into the... Hmm. Hmm. I want to go for Recover with Gastrodon here. Just in case Incineroar goes for Gastrodon. Um, no. No. 
I want to go big, big play. We're going to go for Muddy Water and Ally Switch. Should I do that? No, no, because he might go for Rotom. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm double guessing myself. We're going to recover, and we are just going to go for the Thunderbolt into Incineroar for a little extra chip damage. We get the Thunderbolt off first. Maybe we get a Para. That'd be really nice. No Para. Darkest Lariat, hopefully into Rotom, but maybe not. And that's why we went for Recover, just in case. It did go into Rotom. Okay. And hopefully we don't get flinched by this uh, this Rock Slide here. That'd be really nice, because then we can get a nice Recover off. Regardless, oh, we do get the flinch. Dang, we're getting flinched so much by this Mudsdale. Okay. I am a little nervous. This is a, um, it's max HP, max special attack. So it's not as, defense as, as defensive as it can be, this Gastrodon. And Incineroar is obviously sitting there at full, at, you know, it could be adamant for all we know. And that flinch could really cost us. Let's see how much Darkest Larry it does. That does more than I wanted to. We're done for. Oh, we miss, he misses the high horsepower. We cannot get flinched. We go for the recover. And I think we have to recover again. Yeah, we're going to recover again. Uh, we're going to let that Mudsdale die to burn on the next turn. We definitely go for recover here. We have to play the long game. We have to. And then we just have to decide if we go for Muddy Water on the next turn to take out Incineroar or if we go for the Earth Power. Muddy Water is going to do more damage, but Earth Power is going to be more reliable in terms of accuracy. I don't know. Don't crit us. Okay. There's the Rock Slide trying to get the one last flinch. That would do us in if he flinches us here. Does not get the flinch. We're going to get the Recover off. Um, I should have paid attention to how how much damage exactly that Recover or that uh, Darkest Lariat's doing. We can honestly stall him out of Darkest Lariat turns. Let's look up how much how much damage Darkest Lariat does. We do have a good three minutes of your time left. Or I said how much damage it does. How much uh, PP does it get? Let's find out. It can't flinch us. Darkest Lariat has only 10 PP, and he's already used it four times. I think it's been four times. So we can just keep recovering. We have more recovers than he has Darkest Lariats. We can just keep going for it. And I think it's doing less damage than, than uh, Recover is recovering. Right? Because that did about, I want to say like 45, yeah, and then we went to full. Okay, so now we can actually go for a move if we want to. Um, we are risking the accuracy. It's 85% accurate. Mm -mm. Earth power. They're both the same amount, so earth power is the play every time. Hopefully it's not weakness policy. It can't be. Venusaur was. Venusaur was weakness policy. This can't be. Darkest Lariat. Don't crit us. Excellent. We win this matchup 100% of the time unless a unfortunate crit happens. Uh, it's got the berry, which is going to force us to use recover next turn. Uh, he's going to run out of darkest lariats pretty soon, though. I believe he's now at four darkest lariats left. Unless he used the PP max, in which case he would have 16. And we do not have a PP max on our recovers. So hopefully he did not use PP max. Either way, I do feel confident that another Earth Power might might do it. Another Earth Power might kill. That Earth Power did a lot of damage. Battle was canceled. Okay. Yep. So they saw the writing on the wall. Anticlimactic. I know Colossal's on the thumbnail for this video, but... <laughs> uh, okay. So they have Excadrill, G-Max Lapras, Raichu, uh, and DD, Rhyperior, and Dusclops. This one's tough. It's tough. Hmm. I think you definitely always leave with Colossal, to be honest. I think you go Dragapult, Colossal, and you definitely bring Gastrodon in the back. Because Gastrodon does match up well in case they do bring a Trick Rumor. Uh, they're always either going to bring that top four, or they're going to bring the bottom three and Lapras. I'm pretty sure that's how that team operates. That Raichu, you can almost bet, has a Brick Break. Uh, 
to hit its own Lapras and do um and and pop its weakness policy. Um. I think I bring Clefairy to this one, to be honest. I feel confident that the other the other three can get the job done. Uh, hmm. Do I? Yeah, I want to bring Clefairy, because Clefairy actually has Brick Break. So if they do end up getting the... Uh... What's up, Evan? Evan, you're on Jake's account? What's up, dude? Um, yeah, if we if they do end up getting the, uh, the Aurora Veil up, then Clefairy is nice to have for the Brick Break option. Uh-oh, I think we're running out of time here. Don't time out, sir. Ooh, wow, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they got that in in time. Uh, we might just be phasing off against a, um, their first four Pokemon here. Which would be A-OK -okay by me. What's actually crazy is that I'm pretty sure, depending on the build of the Lapras, I've one hit KO'd. Yeah, they timed out. See, they're leading with Lapras and Excadrill. I'm pretty sure they timed out. Um, depending on the build of the Lapras, we might be able to one hit KO it here with uh, G Max Vocalith, which is one of the best G Max moves in the entire game. Uh, I should be nervous about the Excadrill being able to high horsepower our uh, Colossal into non-existence, but to be honest, I'm more worried about the Lapras just because uh, Gastrodon can deal with every other member of their team really, really well, uh, including the Excadrill. So if we can get rid of the Lapras, uh, not that Gastrodon can't deal with Lapras, it's just I want to get rid of the, the Lapras if I can. Okay, this person woke up. They're now rolling with, the, with their leads. Uh, and yeah, like I said, depending on how they bred their Lapras, we might be able to Oko here. Because they do not have Misdirection and they do not have an a way of flinching our uh, Dragapult. Because you can't. Unless you have Fake Out on a Scrappy user. Does anybody have Fake Out Scrappy? Kangaskhan used to. Huh. I don't know anymore. Oh, Colossal getting nice and big, nice and beefy there. Nice and tall. We do get the Surf off. That's about how much we can expect Surf to do to Colossal. It's more than you want it to be typically for a move like that, but it makes sense. It's four times weak, and it's it's all for the reason of getting rid of this Lapras right now. G-Max Vocalith off a Rock Slide. Let's see. Oh, it didn't kill. It'll kill off the uh, off the extra vocal lift damage here. Um, and it does pop the weakness policy, but so if they want to go for, well, we have a focus sash on our dragon pole, so they're not going to kill us there. High horsepower does not kill Colossal, which is so nice actually. They went they went into the Dragapult. Okay, great. So we can actually take out the Excadrill on this turn. I believe it'll do so. It'll do that even with the. Um, yeah, even with the uh, uh, Aurora Veil up. Nice. And this should kill the Lapras. It does. Awesome. Yeah, Vocalith is the same exact effect as Charizard's G-Max Wildfire, except it is a rock-based move instead of fire-based. So it, it hurts fire types, but it doesn't hurt rock types. Um, okay. They went for a Psychic Seed uh, <laughs> DD play there. Okay. I feel like I can go into Clefairy here, honestly. And that's what I want to do, just so I can have Clefairy out. Uh, and Dragapult can disappear here, and I'm okay with that. Uh, and this way I can go for a Max Quake into Excadrill, and even if we don't kill the Excadrill here, which I do think we will, um... Uh, Clefairy gets a special attack, a special defense boost to to help it live things from Indeedee. And Clefairy's holding a Via Light, so it's nice and nice and bulky. Oh, okay. 
I should have obviously thought of that. Uh, indeed, he's going to follow me. We're still going to get the special defense boost for Clefairy. It won't help out very much with um, with Excadrill wanting to go for an Iron Head on this next turn. Uh, oh, and for Rock Slide. Yeah, you can't use Rock Slide. It could miss. So now Colossal gets another turn. That's definitely not what you want to do. And look how much we did to Ndidi. Another Max Quake will kill Ndidi here. And we can we can follow me. Okay, I have to think about what I want to do here. Um, yeah, I want to follow me. Let's keep let's keep Colossal around. That was so silly of them to to rock slide. You can't rock slide there. They wanted to get rid of the Dragapult too, obviously, but they got a little greedy. Uh, we have to max quick Excadrill. Yeah, they got too greedy. They have to use Follow Me with Ndidi. We are also going to follow me. Um, I think they're probably going to go for a high horsepower. I don't know if they trust that Iron Head... I don't know if I would trust that Iron Head would kill G-Max Colossal here. Uh, but it's not going to matter either way. Because uh, Colossal... Unless they went for another Rock Slide, which is ballsy. Um, Colossal's going to be around for another turn after this. Let's see what they went for. They go for another Rock Slide? Because that is... I mean, props to them. They did! And they missed again! They missed Clefairy this time. Wow. Wow. Okay, I mean, I could have easily gone for a max Steel Spike, too. And maybe lived that Rock Slide. Did you see how slow my health went down? Um, okay. Now we can go into Dragapult. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Dragapult here. Because what we can do is... They're going to go Raichu. Um, well, maybe the play is to go for a... for a. I was going to say we could Brick Break the Extra Drill to kill it with Clefairy. And go for an Ally Switch with uh, Dragapult. But they can fake out Clefairy. No, they can't. They have um, Psychic Terrain up. So we are definitely going to do that. That is so funny. Okay. Fake out, or uh, Brick Break, Excadrill to take it out, and we're going to ally switch with Dragapult. I think we have one more turn of G-Max Vulcalith. They can't use Fake Out because the Psychic Terrain. I remembered. You didn't. I remembered. You didn't. That's okay. I forget all the time. I forgot in tournament, actually. They went for another Rock Slide! That is crazy. Maybe they're locked in. If they flinch us, I'll be mad. They did not flinch us, and we're going to take out... Excadrill with Clefairy here. It didn't even need the vocalist damage. <laughs> and we get rid of the Aurora Veil so that Gastrodon can come in, as if it was going to have a problem with Raichu anyway. Uh, there goes Raichu's Focus Sash that it was probably holding. Uh, because I don't think it's holding a... Ooh, is Raichu holding an Air Balloon? I didn't see it if it is. Well, I can afford to try here and go for a follow me. They'll probably just cancel. Uh, yeah. Wow, great battle. Great battle. That was a great execution of G-Max uh, Colossal. We got a little lucky there with the Rock Slide Mess, but again, that's a risky play. I get it, and I think I might go for it too now that I'm really thinking about it. But with G-Max Colossal sitting at plus 6 speed and plus 2 attack, you gotta get rid of it. You really, really do. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Thanks for watching uh, my G-Max Colossal team. Uh, my, my first tournament team, I really appreciate it. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, please. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. It'd be so cool if you joined uh, the, the group here, the crew. Oh, God. I don't have a name for my followers yet. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. That'd be weird. Uh, I, only have, I don't even have 100 subscribers. Um, but if you like this video, by all means, show your support. That'd be really cool of you. I'd really like it. And if you didn't, you know what? Thank you anyway for, for watching the video this long. Uh, if you haven't clicked away yet, uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, there's the team code. Use it. Use it. That's what it's for. Okay, bye.